Welcome to the video tutorial for the audiobook player app for Windows 10. Windows 10 means here that we have one app for Windows Phone 10 and Windows 10. The first thing what we want to do when we have installed the app is we want to add audiobooks to the library and play them from there. What we have to do is we go to library open the library settings and we have uh, some options then. We can add a location, we can remove a location, create a new audiobook folder and can delete all bookmarks. What we now want to do is add a location. That means we go to our PC and choose a folder which contains the audiobook folders. In our case, these folders here are the audiobooks and in these selected folders are mp3 files. Look at this. If we take this, we see there is a file, an mp3 and the cover file. And in this more mp3 files and a cover. That means the folders are audiobooks and we add music. We add here the parent folder which contains the audiobook folders. When we have added this we see in our list the different audiobooks from this location. What we see here is the title of the audiobook, we see the interpret and we see the times, the full time and the actual position. We can switch here the view from cover to list and back. In this version of audiobook player app are subfolders not supported. That means we don't see this in our list because it's in a subfolder. What we want, what we have to do then is add an extra location for that. Add location. And change in that folder. Edit. And now we see this here. The third. We have, uh, we can add different locations here and no subfolders are supported. But when, if we add some more locations, we see. And we can remove them. The next step is we want to play an audiobook. I choose this here. And it starts. What we can do now, which controls we have, is we can play and pause on the cover. And we can do the same function on the app bar at the bottom of the app. What we see here in the middle as a slider which times. We can set the time to the position we want. If we can't handle the slider correctly, we can set the position over this function here. If we click then we can set the position with this dialog. What we can here, what we can do now is we can change the chapter to the next and previews, and we see the chapters here in this list. If we go to chapters.
that's all to play an audiobook. You have to add the location and then you have to click on the audiobook. In the next step we go from function to function and start with the left menu here. The first thing in this menu is continue from start screen. If uh, we click on this, then we got a new tile in our start menu. It's this here. I can change the size. It's very big now. And what does the tile do is It starts the last audiobook what we would have. We played this audiobook at the last time and if we played another audiobook then the tile plays the other audiobook and plays the last heard audiobook. We can see this audiobook is continued. The next point in the menu is the settings menu. If we click on settings, then we have different settings here, different options. The first thing is we can select between full duration and chapter duration. If we look in the player, we have the, st we have, uh, the position and on the right side we have the full time. And in the settings, we can change to chapter time. Chapter time means that's only the time for one file. The next thing is here, what we can set, is the fast forward and rewind time. If we open this menu here, we see we can step forward and back for some seconds. And these seconds can be defined here. We can choose the 60 here. And then we see we can step 60 seconds for or back. The next box is for the flashback time. If we start to play an audiobook, we can define the flashback time. For example, 30 seconds or 2 minutes, then the audiobook starts not at the position you last heard, it starts 2 minutes before this position and you can hear what, what has happened there. And the fourth option here is cover as play button. If you enable this, you can pause and play with the cover, what you see here in the background. And if you disable this, you see the cover has no function. It can be very useful if you use this web, this app, on phone. You see here. If I change the layout or the size from the app, then the app changes the layout. If I shrink the app, then the first step is the menu is collapsing. And the next step is the cover is very big and the text and the slider are at the bottom from the cover. And that's the same view what we have on the smartphone. And now, if I enable this, cover on play button, then I can handle this big cover as a play button. The next option here is we can set manually the language of the app. If you install the app new, the app search one of these 
language is what you have on your system and choose it. If you want another language you can set it here. If you want you can change the language to German. The last two buttons here are the change log. You can look at the changes from the previous version there. Or you can reset app settings. Next point in our menu is the sleep timer. The sleep timer is here at the app bar. You can define some minutes or you can turn it off. For example, if I choose 20 minutes, then you can see here above the slider the countdown of the sleep timer. And in 20 minutes, it automatically shut down. But we have a automatic sleep timer too. If we click here, the third item, and I can enable, enable the automatic sleep timer, and can say it's enabled from 9 p.m. to 8 in the morning and it's 60 minutes when long. That means that it, when you start an audiobook, for example on, on 10 p.m., then the sleep timer automatically starts. And 60 minutes after that, the sleep timer shut the audiobook down. The next point here is the Microsoft Band connection. Microsoft's smartwatch band is a smartwatch what you can wear and what you can use for some notifications. Here are the notifications for chapter change, if you complete an audiobook, if you come to the last chapter or if you open an audiobook. Then on your band, which is connected, a small message appears. This selected item here is for review and rating in the Windows Store. A new page from the store is opened then. This point here is for seeming. That means you can choose a background image for the app. If you don't want to see the app in white or black, you can choose an image for the background. For example, we go to pictures and you see, okay, it's a Brandenburger Tor. And if we open this and click OK. And then we can collapse the menu here. And we see this Brandenburger Tor. Or we can choose another image, it's better for the fonts. We can choose this image. Or we can disable it. The next point here is, we can choose between the light and dark theme. It's not using, it's not working here on the PC version. It's only available on Windows Phone. And you, yes, you know the dark and the light theme from Windows Phone. Okay. The next is the point about. And on about you see some contact methods and the version of the app. 
Here is the contact email, audiobook player at batman.net and you can send a support email. You can visit Twitter with the English news or you can open Facebook with the German news. Next point here on the list is the video instruction. That's the video. You can repeat the video what you're watching now. The next menu here, what we look at, is at the right corner. You can change the playback speed. If we go to the player and the playback speed is 1. That's the default, it's the normal speed. And this, if we choose to 2, then we have double speed of playback. Or we can play it slower in 0 0.7 or 8. Next point here are the step back and forward buttons and the possibility to pin this audiobook on your start screen. That means that you only pin this audiobook, not the last played. You pin this audiobook. If you click on it and check the start menu, this is the last played audiobook and this here is the pinned audiobook what we have opened in the background. Okay. Next point is audiobook information. That's an important point. We can set here the name and the author of the audiobook. And we can set the year or a cover image. But this and this point are very important that all mp3 files or all VMA files have the same information because the position is saved over there. If you don't know that all files have the same information you can click on change and all files automatically get this information. The last thing in this menu here is the share button. If you click on the share button, a menu opened and you can share this information about the audiobook to your friends over installed apps. If you have installed Twitter or Facebook or mail, OneNote, whatever, you can share your information about the audiobook or a screenshot to your friends. Okay, that's it so far. We have learned how to add an audiobook to the library. That's the important thing. You add the location to the library, see the audiobooks in the location, and you have to click on it to play it. That's all. I hope you enjoy this video and the app. If you have questions or wishes, then you can contact me. Here are the addresses again. Have a nice day and goodbye.